in the previous section, we talked about the fact that all atoms are made of uh, three different types of particles. They're made of protons, neutrons, and electrons. I want to talk about um, what actually makes all of the 118 different types of atoms different from each other. And what actually makes them different from each other is something called uh, the atomic number. We're going to talk about that in detail here. First of all, each element, so each of the 118 different types of atoms, has a different atomic number. It turns out that the atomic number is the number of protons in the atom. So, as an example, hydrogen has an atomic number of one. What this means is that every hydrogen atom has one proton, and only one proton. If you have an atom with one proton, it's a hydrogen atom. If it doesn't have one proton, then it's something else. Helium has an atomic number of two. What that means is every helium atom has two protons. Lithium has an atomic number of three, and again, that means that if you have an atom with three protons in it, then it's a lithium atom. So the idea is the atomic number, which is the number of protons in an atom, tells you what type of atom you have. And again, just to emphasize this, atoms of the same element will always have the same atomic number. Now, you might ask yourself, where am I getting this information? How do I know that hydrogen atoms all have one proton? And how do I know that helium atoms all have two protons? The short answer is that you don't need to know how people have figured this out. And you don't even actually have to memorize the fact that hydrogen atoms all have one proton and helium all have two. You can actually look this information up on the periodic table, and I'll show you how to do that. Here is, a, again, a stripped down version of the periodic table. There can be more detailed versions, but at this point I just want to show you uh, a relatively simplified version of the periodic table that I showed you a few slides ago. And if you look carefully at each box, there's a number inside of each box, and that number is the atomic number. So, as I mentioned in the previous slide, hydrogen has an atomic number of one. There it is. What that means is every hydrogen atom has one proton. Helium has an atomic number of two. Every helium has two protons. And you can see the atomic numbers go up by one as you read from left to right. So hydrogen, atomic number of one. Helium, atomic number of two. Lithium, atomic number of three. Beryllium, four. All the way up to element number 118. And so you can just look it up. If I ask you which element has 13 protons, you would look up in the table and you would look up number 13 and you would tell me that the element that has uh, atoms with 13 protons in it is aluminum. And that's pretty much all you have to do. I should point out those of you may be a little bit confused by the fact that element number 118 is here but then there are two rows of additional elements on the bottom here. These two rows are actually supposed to fit into these two empty boxes. It's just that if you fit these two rows into those empty boxes, they would make these final two rows that I'm kind of highlighting here very wide. So the convention is to take these two rows out and keep them a little bit separate from all of the others. So if, if that's confusing, hopefully it got clarified there. This is the, the last element that we currently know of number 118. For the most part in this course we will deal with atoms or elements that you will tend to find in the first three or four rows. We will talk about some other elements uh, further down in the periodic table but for the most part we will spend our time in the first three or four rows. So um, as an exercise I would like to ask um, a few questions and as I ask these questions it might be helpful for you to pause the video player and try to answer the question before I give you the answer. So here we are. Um, before we get to the questions, again, just to emphasize, the hy every hydrogen atom has one proton. So this is my cartoon version of a hydrogen atom. Here's the atom, here's the proton in the center. If you looked at beryllium, beryllium has an atomic number of four. What that means is every beryllium atom will have four protons, and there are the four protons drawn there. One thing that I want to emphasize, however, is that I have not, as of yet, said anything about the number of neutrons or the number of electrons. All I'm talking about at this point is the number of protons, and the number of protons uh, is revealed to you by the atomic number in the periodic table. I haven't been drawing the neutrons, which I've drawn as gray circles, and I haven't been drawing the electrons in these exercises. Those will come in a little bit. Right now we're just talking about atomic number. Okay, so here's the first question. What type of atom is this one? And if you'd like to answer this question, I would pause the, the recording now before I reveal the answer. Okay. Um, 
let's look at this atom. How many protons does it have? It has one, two, three, four, five, six. That means its atomic number is six. We look at our periodic table. We find that the element that has an atomic number of six has an abbreviation of C, which is carbon. So this is a cartoon version of a carbon atom. It's not a very realistic one, uh, not a very realistic version of a carbon atom for reasons that you'll see later in the course, but for this exercise, all I want you to know is that this thing has six protons. You look up six in the periodic table, and six is carbon. So this thing is a carbon atom. Next question. What type of atom is this one? Again, you can pause to try to answer the question on your own. But if we look at... Um, this atom in more detail and ask ourselves how many protons it has, we can count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight protons. We look up which element has eight protons in the periodic table. It's this one, and the abbreviation is O, so this is a cartoon version of an oxygen atom. So hopefully you have a reasonable sense of how to figure out what type of atom you're dealing with by counting the number of protons. This one has six protons, it's carbon. This one has eight protons, it's oxygen. Now I'm going to ask the question in reverse. How many protons does a helium atom have? So here I'm asking you to look up helium in the periodic table and then figure out how many protons it has. Well, helium is over here on the right side of the periodic table and its atomic number is two, so that means that every helium atom has two protons. So this should be a relatively easy exercise. It's something that you're going to need to be able to do um, throughout the course, so make sure that you can do it.